Ready. Hi students. Today we'll talk about a poem, The Lost Dances of Cred, from Class Eight, Unit One. This poem was written by Juliet Wilson. Juliet Wilson was a Briti is a British poet. She writes on topics related to environment. This is also written on environment. Let's go into the poem. Your fields are empty now. Only your ghosts dance while cranes of another kind dance it is into being. All that remain of you are a fading crackle of your energy and some grainy video footage that people in the new cities will watch to marvel at the wonders of the world oneself. This is a very short poem. As the title suggests, from the title we can say, we can understand the topic on which the poet has written. The Lost Dancers of Cranes. So here we are talking about the cranes, a kind of bird which most of you have seen, known as cranes. They have thin and long legs and elongated necks as well. These cranes are normally found in wetland or fields which are covered with water because they basically feed on fishes. Now, why it is Lost Dancers? Why the title is Lost Dancers of the Crane? That we will understand from the poem. That means the dancer which is lost. Dance means what is dance? Just the, here, dance relates to the activities of the crane. Normally, before the mating season comes, or mating time comes, the cranes dance. The cranes dance to woo the other partner for mating. So here the poet is saying that these dancers have lost. They are no longer now. Why? The poet says so. Let's see. Your fields are empty now. That means the fields now. The fields that the human beings have now. These fields are empty. Empty of what? Empty. These fields where once the cranes used to dance. Those fields are now empty. No longer we find cranes in those fields. Only your ghosts dance. What is found is only the ghosts. That means not the original. The original cranes are no longer to be found. We find it somewhere else. So they are regarded as ghosts. Like maybe in Nat Geo. If you look in the National Geography channel. There we will find about cranes. Or in books. Some recordings. There. While cranes of another kind. Dance cities into being. This original cranes. The words. They no longer dance. Rather what we find. In our cities. We have another kind of crane, a construction machine, which is similar to the crane as far as its neck is concerned, elongated neck. So that crane we find in cities nowadays. Now that dance, that the crane of another kind, that dance, dance means here, it carries on its activities that is regarded as dance. That is helping in the construction work in the cities. So that we find, nowadays we find many, many different kinds of uh, cranes. Some are shorter, some are too tall, okay, long. Different kinds of cranes are found for building huge, huge um, and buildings are being constructed. There we find use of these cranes. So nowadays in cities we find these cranes. The cranes of another kind, that is the machine crane. Rather than finding the original crane, the bird, that bird 
will be no longer find now urban cities due to urbanization the fields are getting uh, changed up into building areas where we find big big buildings these buildings for constructing these buildings the machine cranes are used so all that remain of you are a fading crackle of your energy and some grainy video footage so what we have now what we have we have the fading crackle of energy that means here it suggests that we have some video tapes old old in recordings old recordings of the crackle that means the crackle crackling sound of the cranes the sound made by the cranes that is called the crackle the crackling sound of the cranes that is with us only in old recordings and these recordings are fading out and some grainy video footage also some footage videos we have but those are also regarded as grainy video footage that means the quality of those videos are not very good why because those videos are older if you watch old movies you will find a difference older movies and the present movies the picture quality huge difference why due to the use of the camera the better quality camera now if these are olden days so the quality of the video footage are also not very good that's why they are regarded as grainy video footage now that people in the new cities will watch to marvel at the wonder the world once again now looking at this fading crackle and the grainy video footage knowing this only the people who reside in the urban cities now in the modern world those people who stay in the cities they will come to know about the cranes only through this videos or those old recordings or radio tapes through those they will come to know about it and they will be surprised at the great wonders of the world that is the cranes that once used to dance about openly in the field which are no longer seen we can see it in tvs we can watch it in some videos but not in reality even now still now if you go to some rural areas here you will find the crane especially during the winter season in india we find the migratory birds they come some of them are from the cranes they come from the colder colder regions of the world but in the urban cities do we find no not only this not only about crane there are many other such birds which are gradually becoming extinct the cranes are also getting reduced in numbers with days passing so we can say that we are somehow damaging our environment this is what juliet wilson is focusing on through this poem she wants to remind us that we should not forget the environment we should not harm it and we should not let any living things get extinct otherwise our future generations will not come to know about them directly just as we are um, coming to know about many birds which have got extinct like uh, we heard we hear about uh, the uh, dodo such kind of birds once existed now they are no longer so we should try to preserve these birds from getting extinct from the world it is our it is in our hand whether to let it get extinct or to help it remain poet juliet wilson is a great supporter of the environment she is also an environmentalist and so she urges through this poem to all of you 
to keep this thing in mind that we should not focus only on urbanization and modernization we should also focus on our nature our environment because it is the most important aspect in our life if we destroy our environment if we destroy the nature we cannot survive so keep in mind to preserve the environment so that you can stay well and your family members can stay well also the future generations they can thank us that we have kept something for them so that was for today thank you very much